I've been them over and over how, <coughs> how impressive I thought they were on a, on a regular basis throughout the season. Um, for me personally, we all, like everybody, we go through ups and downs throughout the season. Uh, I had the joy of welcoming a new child into the world in December. Um, that was followed by a kind of nerve-wracking uh, experience in the hospital in the NICU. Um, we had some, I had some personal downs this season um, back in December. And just, I couldn't have asked for a better group to be with, you know, to celebrate the good times. And then during, during downtime in my life, personally, just like better, I couldn't ask for a better group to clear my mind and help me uh, focus on the things that are enjoyable. And I was watching you girls do what you do best and, and that's compete on the basketball court uh, together. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a single day this whole season that I honestly didn't look forward to getting into the gym with this group. Um, and that's just, again, that's just their togetherness, their effort, their attitudes, mm -hmm. everything about them was just fantastic. So thank you girls. Um, this season, we, we like every season, we started off, uh, we had a lot of challenges throughout the season. And, and regardless if you're uh, a team that goes, you know, undefeated or a team that goes defeated, there's going to be a lot of challenges during the season. Um, right off the bat, we, we challenged this group by just making some changes in the program. And uh, I was just impressed and amazed by the, this group's reaction. Um, they just bonded closer together um, and, and worked harder together. And it, and it was just very impressive to see the, the, the kind of people that we were working with. Um, health was certainly a challenge this season. Uh, at the start of the year, we knew that staying healthy was going to be a big priority. Um, and unfortunately, we got hurt and we got sick. And that affected almost everybody. I think, I think at some point during the season, almost every single person um, was sick at some time. And I think uh, the second day of the season, I know Megan went out for probably the longest stretch of, of time you've been out of anything, I'm guessing, between school and athletics. And, and that was kind of, and then for the rest of the season, we're kind of battling illnesses and injuries along the way. Um, there was one night that uh, Kayla and Christy approached me before practice and warned me. They said, hey, just to let you know, uh, nobody really feels very good right now. <laughs> and I thought, uh, that's, that's a really good proactive tip. I really appreciate that. And I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind in case things started going, uh, you know, in the direction that we wouldn't want them to go in. And to the team's credit, and it speaks a lot to their character, uh, it wasn't an excuse the whole night. Uh, we, we had a, a really solid practice. Um, and the, the fact that people didn't feel well was in my, the back of my mind, but it never even came to the front of my mind because nobody here made excuses. Nobody here uh, fell back on that. People just persevered. People rallied together. And uh, we, we were productive. And I feel like that's how we were almost every single day. So um, we had a lot of people that talked out injuries. But a lot of people have talked about illnesses, and uh, just thank you girls for your dedication and your commitment each and every day. So, um, Another challenge uh, that we didn't really talk about at the start of the season at all was, uh, and that was intentional, is that we were coming into the season uh, trying to replace uh, our statistical leader in just about every statistical category there is. And uh, rather than talk about that, we chose to focus on the people that are here and the people that were in our locker room and, and, and everybody here really delivered. Uh, they put together one of the best seasons that Norton girls basketball has had in the last 15 years. Um, on the defense, this is most obvious on the defensive side of the court. Um, this team allowed the fewest points per game of any Norton basketball team since 2001-2002. So that's, that's about the last 15 years. Defensively, in terms of just strictly points per game, they're one of the best teams we've seen. Um, and that, that percentage got up, that, that actually got away from us a little bit in the last two games. It was even, I think we were even a few years ahead of that prior to that. So we were, we were really on the, on the cusp of, of, you know, having one of the best defensive teams in quite some time, um, which we did regardless. In the last three years where we started to keep, uh, where I have access to more specific stats, um, defensively in the last three years, we were the best, uh, we had the best opponent's field goal percentage. Um, we allowed 32% of opponents' field goals made, which is the best in the last three years. We first the most turnovers we have in the last three years with 11 a game. We have the most deflections that we've had in the last three years with 7.2 a game. And a little more than 10 steals a game, which again is the best we've had in the last three years. So defensively, this team really just elevated our, our program and their game. And with all that, they foul less, which is you know impressive if you're playing more tenacious defense, you would think you'd foul more, but this, gr this group really used their feet well, they really stayed disciplined, and, and they did less of that. So um, defensively, they really made some great strides throughout the season. Uh, and with that um, defensive improvement, they produced the second best league win total in the last 15 years of Norton Girls basketball history. So uh, that was, to me, that was very impressive. And along with that, um, what was the other one? In the most wins, 
I'm sorry, the third most wins in the last 15 years. So both of those things really came hand in hand with, with how hard this group was working daily and together. And then along with the, with the wins came several very competitive losses. Uh, six of our losses came at an average margin of four points or less. Um, mm -hmm. Most of them were single digit games right down to the final possession. Uh, and, and ultimately these opportunities to learn were, were found in, in those experiences. Um, one of the most important and valuable lessons that stands out to me is just our ability to bounce back. I think um, after losing in overtime to Dover Sherburne early in the season, that loss seemed to linger with us, and I've talked to the team about this before, into the next game when we kind of struggled against Cohasset. However, later in the year we had a tough loss against uh, Seekonk, and we kind of learned our lesson from that previous one, and we bounced back the next day and put together a, an incredible performance against one of the best teams in the league in Hockington. Um, and I told the girls after that game that that game we had against Hopkinton might have been the best uh, we've played in the last four years. Um, it was really a great game um, against a really, really talented team. And I think we even outdid ourselves later in the season when we got to play at Holliston in the second half. I think we even outperformed ourselves. So we really raised the bar quite a bit um, throughout the season. I think that the, the games that I'm most proud of for this team was our, our final home games against Bellingham. Uh, that was a particularly challenging night because that seemed to be the, the peak of when people were sick and when people were hurt. And uh, it, it all came same, come right together that, that night. Um, and we really needed every single person in the program to contribute. And we got uh, contributions from everyone. And uh, that night we pulled out both JV and varsity wins. And it was just an incredibly proud moment for me personally. Probably the, the pinnacle moment of pride I had in this team through, during this season. So uh, I think it might have been one of the, again, one of the best days we had in the program in the last four years. Um, off the court, you learn a lot about these girls. Uh, a lot takes place during the 60 days. It's not just all on the court. Um, so it's always fun to learn about different strengths and different interests. I think uh, a lot of these memories come to mind after the season. I think these are the things that stick with a lot of us. Um, I think about, we did a team building night and unfortunately Carly's not here, but Carly was in a group with, I think, uh, Christy and a lot of other upperclassmen. It was early in the season. She probably didn't know a lot of us yet. And she really took uh, hold of that activity and became a leader in that group, which right away was a pretty impressive thing for a young uh, person that didn't know a lot of people to do off the bat. Um, I think about the Metro West night. I think about the holiday grab. I think about one of the funniest stories from the season was, um, I can't remember the game. It was pregame. I was going to the locker room. And uh, Christy came running out. And she was like, Coach, I don't know where Abby is. I was like, oh, this isn't very good. Abby's uh, supposed to start this game in about eight minutes. I'm not sure where she is. And Chris says, uh, Chris is like, I'm going to check the bathroom. So Christy went and checked both bathrooms, came back. Abby's not there, and I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a strange pregame. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. And we walk in, Christy and I walk in the locker room. I'm, I'm pretty nervous because we're missing a, a person. Uh, and walk in, and Abby's just sitting there with her teammates, just cracking up, laughing at Christy. She played a little hide and go seek on her. And, uh, you know, just make moments like that or uh, <laughs> we have one practice where, it's where uh, we practice late and this is something that I'll, I, I don't never experience, I don't think I'll ever forget. And the lights went out and being in an interior gym in the school and have the power go out and have no lights uh, was pretty scary uh, for some of us and really, really, really scary for others. Um, so just some of these moments during the season that make you laugh. And, and, and ultimately, these experiences are the things that we'll probably remember the most in, in the years to come. Uh, they just provide for laughter, team bonding, team chemistry. Um, I've had the chance to meet with a lot of these girls individually so far, and, and hopefully I get a chance to wrap up all my uh, one-on-ones uh, in the next week or two. And the first thing I always ask is, how do you think the season went for you individually, and how do you think it went for the team collectively? And uh, one of the things that has been really great to hear from almost every single person is they've said, I really enjoyed the season, or they've said something along the lines of, this is the best season I've had yet. Um, and I usually follow them up and say, can you elaborate why, why was it so enjoyable, what made this so great? And almost every single person, the immediate response was just, because our team was so united, the, together, the togetherness on this team was, was fantastic. And uh, it's, just, it's just incredible to watch. It, uh, I'm really proud of the group for, for how they stuck together throughout the season. Um, and it was really evident, their togetherness was really evident from the beginning of the season. And we talked about it, you know, we really embraced it. And, and most importantly, I don't think this group ever really lost it through the good times and the bad throughout the season. So um, before we recognize individuals for their seasons, I just want to congratulate the girls once more on, on all their individual, on the team accomplishments too. A great person, I can say for every single one of, one of these people that we're going to call up right now, and every single person in the program. So 
Uh, once again, thank you for all your commitment and, and just for being such wonderful individuals. Uh, the first person we're going to recognize, uh, her first game of the season, I remember I walked over to Summer Inn and I said, uh, you ready? And she said yes, but her face did not say yes. She seemed a little bit nervous. So I, I thought, uh, well, we gotta, we gotta go. I already said, you're, you're going in, so here we go. And fortunately for us, she really grew out of that as the season went on um, and developed into a, uh, a key asset um, defensively. She's one of, the, one of the better defenders we have, and I think against Bellingham at home, she really displayed that when she uh, held their leading score to zero points in the second quarter. Um, her offensive skills throughout the season continued to develop, and uh, I was impressed with that against Westwood, the last game, one of the, yeah, the last game of the year. Um, she had a one-on-one -on -one play against one of their best and one of the league's best defenders, where she just hit an incredibly athletic pull-up jump shot, and it kind of displayed her her offensive potential. I look forward to watching her over the next couple of years, and this is her first varsity letter, Maggie Thompson. Yeah, Maggie. Hey!